welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy Bashore and I'm so glad that you're here. Boys and I are headed out. I gotta burn off some energy of these two. They've been cooped up for a while since Benny kind of hurt his legs. We're gonna take it out. Um, I'm gonna tell them to take it slow. <laughs> Reasoning with German short hairs. We're gonna see if it works, so come along. You boys ready to go? Got the boys out here to burn off some energy. They're gonna run crazy and pee on all the things. And I'm along for the ride. So a question I often get is, when do German short hairs actually calm down? Um, a lot of breeds have you know their puppy phase that lasts i don't know six months um with german short hairs it can be typical for a puppy phase to last two years um and actually my youngest berkeley is five now i got him in 2017 and honestly i think he still acts like a puppy so um i'm not sure that they ever calm down maybe after they run for an hour Berkeley, come on. There he is. Honestly, that's why I bring them to these wide open spaces every now and then to help them burn their energy off. It makes them better house dogs to get that energy out. Um, they are an extremely high energy dog. I've said it a million times that I've never had a dog before and I'm not sure a GSP was a great first option. Or maybe it was because I didn't know any better. Um, but they have energy. And while a lot of dogs calm down after their puppy phase, I just think that German short hairs like to work so hard that they're constantly working and rarely calm. They're always busy. Honestly, I think I get just as stir crazy as they do. So getting out here in these wide open spaces is as much for me as it is for them. Um, I'm thankful for a job that essentially gets me out here and I get to hang out with my boys while they run around and be crazy. But my boys get stir crazy too. You know, they're cooped up inside. I remember saying during, you know, that thing that happened in 2020, um, when we all finally got to leave our house, I remember being like, this is what the dogs feel like when I let them out. When I let them leave and we get in the car, because I remember that first feeling where the stores opened up again and we got to go places. I was like, this is what the dogs feel like. So definitely getting outside is good for the dogs. It gets me outside. It gets me wandering in places. It gets me away from TV screens and computer screens and all the other things that can pull our attention and just get us outside hanging out with my boys. There goes one of them. Here comes the other one. He's crazy. But it's good for everybody just to get outside and burn off that energy. It calms us all down to be in nature. It's a proven fact. Works for the pups for at least a little while. It's not a permanent effect. It definitely is temporary. We do it all over again the next day, but we all love it. And I love having places that we can go to, to bring our key little puppies. There he goes. He's so fast, I can't even get him on camera. They love running free. They know when their collars come out that they get to get in the car and go do something fun, even if it's just for an hour, which is honestly all it takes. Oftentimes I come out maybe a half hour for, or an hour, depending on how much time I have, just to get them running around checking on them make sure I can see them in the distance but just to get them running around even just for a little bit get them away from the backyard where they can run faster than they can in a fenced backyard um, and just thankful for these public places that we get to play
Bentley is definitely being a little bit more cautious after hurting his back left leg, but so far not too bad. I also think he's eight years old now, so he's a little bit slower than he used to be, but he ain't slow by any means. He definitely keeps up with our five-year-old. So calming down, I don't think so. So I'm going to continue my walk through this area with my boys and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone.